Right. I'm going to go into an issue with my laptop that's been bugging me for a year almost and I've never found a prop correct answer for it until I figured out something for myself. Uh, I'll be very, very quickly, I'll go into the fix first and then explain the background behind it. So the fix is simply to do with the, the uh, issue with getting firing up Windows, trying to connect to the internet and you get a message saying saying it can't connect to the internet due to DNS problem or DNS probe or it comes up no internet. The other problem that sometimes occurs more often than the rest actually is you'll go into this and what you'll see is, is that although you're supposedly connected to the internet and saying, instead of saying connected secured it'll have just secured and what you do is you disconnect, connect and try and try and, and nothing happens and it just, it just, look, see, it's gone. It's gone and done it there when I disconnected. It's gone into that just secured, no internet. So that was always an issue, and it, it kept doing that. No matter what settings I messed around with, no matter what advice I got off the uh, YouTube from various experts, um, it would never, never fix itself. So, this is the fix. Here we go, straight into it, no messing, no hanging around, trying to get uh, more adverts out of you. I, I don't, uh, I don't uh, do that anyway. So we go into the Windows, Emblem, Settings, System, Power and Sleep, then we scroll down. Additional power settings. Now we then go choose what the power buttons do. This thing's buried. This this feature I'm trying to sort out is buried way inside Windows 10. But this is going to be very quick compared to the other fixes. I can tell you. Now you're in this menu. Define the power buttons and turn on password protection. But inside this is what's called Windows 10 Fast Startup. So we click on as you'll see. There's, it says to turn on fast startup and other recommended levels and all this stuff, but you can't get at it. It's grayed out. What you have to do is you have to go up the top here and it says change settings that are not that are currently unavailable. So click on that. And this area around, down here, you're not allowed access to it. So it says, where it says turn on fast startup, and it's recommended. And this is the thing that's causing all the problems. Untick that box. Clear it completely. And then always remember, hit the save button. And that saves everything and your changes are done. You can come out all this stuff all together. And from now on, you shouldn't, if you've had my experience, you will have no problems booting up and automatically connecting to the internet. Now is the point where you can, if, you've, if you don't want to listen to any of my blurb, you can shut down this YouTube video. If you want to hear the background and why the logic, how the logic works, then here it goes. Here it goes. Right. So, whenever I had this issue, I tried the IP config sys flush. I tried the internet pro setting internet protocol version four, WinSock reset, renew IP address, change DNS. The only thing that always worked, continues con that, that always worked and was a lot easier to do obviously was just simply restart the computer but it was always odd I always thought it was odd why did restarting the computer fix the issue I never could get under the bonnet because I'm not a c computer tech wizard but I do get from A to B okay okay I maybe use the rest of the alphabet to get there but I do get to it so what I found realized was was that there was two things I was told Fast Startup, what it does is, it flags your drivers, your software, in your laptop at the point where you shut down the computer. Now, when you shut down the computer, what Fast Start does is, is it goes to each of those um, live, uh, those drivers and, 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 and software that were running at the time you shut it down, and it starts them off at the point it left off. And... Uh, This was what was causing the problem, I think, because the reason 
the resetting the computer always seemed to clear the problem was because one of the things that uh, re restarting, not resetting, restarting your computer does in Windows 10 is it bypasses that fast start. So if I do this and instead of hitting shutdown, I hit restart. That bypasses the um, feature for fast start, which is flagging flagging the various bits of software and drivers. And that adds up because this, when you do a restart in Windows 10, it always seems to take longer to shut down and boot up than when it does if you just do a plain boot up. So that always struck me as odd. Now you can see yourself what I'm talking about. It's taken ages for the computer to shut down. Look at it. God, I could go to sleep in the time it's taken. Then when it boots up, it boots up without using fast start. So it did a normal, it did a, a conventional shutdown, but now when it does the boot up, because you've done restart, it does not use fast start. So that takes longer for the computer to boot up. As we are seeing here. It's taking ages. Maybe you will want to shut down this YouTube video before it ends. I don't know. Oh God, come on. This is the only downside of doing this fix is it takes a little bit longer for your computer to boot up. But as I say, because it, I've done fast start, because fast start's not working, I don't have the conflicts between Ethernet and Wi-Fi and all, all, all the other stuff. So I'll just boot that up and we go one, eight, and there we go. Now it's going to roll out. Come on. This is embarrassing, it's taking ages. I got a really fast laptop, but you wouldn't know it. There we go. And if I go in here, connected, yahoo! So, hope I hope this fix seems to work every time. It's, oh, that was the other thing I was gonna tell you about. The reason I know this fix is working better than the other ones is this. The one glitch that I could never get rid of is, is if I was running this computer and I went away from it for a while, obviously it goes into sleep mode. When it went into sleep mode, if I, obviously on my computer, you click on the power button to take it out of the sleep mode, I'd have lost the internet. The internet would come up secured again, not, not connected. And I would have to reboot the computer to get reconnected. Since I've used this fix by switching off uh, Windows 10 Fast Start, um, when it comes out of sleep, I'm connected to the internet every time. So it does seem to be working. I'm thrilled with it, and I hope to hell it's uh, this is the final answer to my problems and maybe quite a few other people's. Bye for now.